To say that space is a challenging environment is just an understatement. Here, you must be ready for multiple tests and failures. Musk's SpaceX has seen it all. It has tried. More often, it has failed. But most importantly, SpaceX has collected lots of important data from all the test flights. And this data is actually what matters. In this video, we will reveal data from the Starship's second flight test, as revealed by SpaceX. It is nothing like you have ever heard before. But before we get any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other developments. It is no secret that SpaceX is developing a state-of-the-art spacecraft, and as you would expect, the Starship will undergo numerous and rigorous tests before it is finally approved for deployment. On November 18th, the Starship successfully lifted off from the launch pad in Starbase. This second flight achieved a number of milestones. It was quite impressive that all of the 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster started up successfully and completed a full duration burn during the ascent. The ignition of all the 33 Raptor engines was quite a milestone given that only 30 engines ignited in the first Starship test flight. SpaceX was quick to share a tweet about this achievement, saying, The world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, powered by 33 Raptor engines, lifting off from Starbase. It was just exciting to watch how the Super Heavy booster made it through to stage separation. Shortly after separation, the booster experienced multiple engine failures and exploded, under a circumstance that SpaceX engineers refer to as rapid unscheduled disassembly. After that, the Starship's second stage continued to fly and reached an altitude of 92 miles before it was destroyed by the flight termination system. Despite these challenges, SpaceX quality engineering manager Kate Tice said that the Starship's second flight test was quite a success on the webcast. In a flight test of this magnitude, SpaceX prides itself in what it learns. The success of SpaceX is greatly attributed to their philosophy, fail fast, learn faster. In this second flight test, the SpaceX engineers have verified the command that was triggered to destroy the Starship as seen in vehicle performance data. As soon as the flight tests are done, SpaceX is keen to review the data obtained with a goal of improving the next flight. The improvements witnessed in the second Starship test flight can be strongly attributed to the results that were obtained from the first Starship test flight that was conducted in April. In the first flight, there was fire in the engine compartment as a result of methane buildup caused by propellant leaks in the aft section of the vehicle. The fires made the wires melt and burn. As a result, the engine lost connection with the flight computer. To mitigate this, SpaceX has improved the engine section with larger supply tanks and more vents that makes it possible for the gases to be ejected out. The SpaceX team has also worked on the flight termination system on both the Super Heavy booster and the Starship spacecraft. Unlike the first flight test, the second flight test has a hot staging part. Here, the Starship ignited its six engines and successfully separated from the booster while its engines were still burning. The hot stage upgrade has now increased the Starship's payload capacity and made the separation even simpler. NASA's 14th Administrator Bill Nelson was among the high-profile persons who congratulated SpaceX via his Twitter handle saying, Congrats to the teams who made progress on today's flight test. Spaceflight is a bold adventure, demanding a can-do spirit and daring innovation. Together, NASA and SpaceX will return humanity to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The American Space Agency, NASA, has a special interest in Starship as it is investing up to $4 billion in the rocket system. It is not just NASA that is closely working with SpaceX. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration will work closely with SpaceX in investigating the reasons for the explosion of the Super Heavy booster and the destruction of the Starship. The results of the investigation will greatly determine when the third Starship flight test will be done. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration has issued a statement to that regard that reads, Before authorizing a third Starship Super Heavy launch, SpaceX must obtain a modified license from the FAA that addresses safety, environmental, and other regulatory requirements. When the FAA is involved, you can definitely expect some delays here and there. 
On numerous occasions, the SpaceX team led by CEO Musk have hit out at the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration over unnecessary government bureaucracies. It is high time the FAA became more efficient in their regulatory role and left SpaceX to focus on the engineering part. But what does it take to lift the large and heavy rocket system from the ground? All the 33 Raptor engines produce 16.7 million pounds of thrust. Of this, only 10 million pounds of thrust are used in the lift-up of the rocket system. The Raptor engine's 1,600 kilogram mass is small in comparison to the amount of force it generates. You will be surprised to learn that the Raptor engine measures only 3.1 meters in height and 1.3 meters in width. The main benefits of a Raptor engine are its high level of effectiveness and efficiency. The engine's design was carefully considered to ensure that it performs optimally under all conditions. This engine is in a class of its own because it uses a combustion cycle with a continuous flow of stages. Twin shafts, which are part of the full-flow staged combustion cycle, are required to burn the oxidizer and fuel in their respective pre-burners. This cycle gets its name from the fact that it allows for complete circulation of both propellants through the turbines. The oxidizer-rich pre-burner is in charge of driving the oxidizer turbopump, while the fuel-rich pre-burner is in charge of driving the fuel turbopump. Raptor engines are gas-gas engines that are used in rocket propulsion. However, this one stands out from the crowd due to its innovative use of liquid methane and oxygen gases as pre-burners. The innovation of liquid methane and oxygen will make it possible for the Starship to travel for very long distances while in space. By 2029, it is expected that the Starship will make its maiden trip to Mars, a journey of around seven months. The various flight tests on the Starship are part of a greater mission of ultimately making humans an interplanetary species. After the second Starship flight test, we can expect the third and many more to follow. Do you agree with SpaceX that the second Starship flight test was a success despite the explosion of the Super Heavy booster and the destruction of the Starship spacecraft? Why or why not? Feel free to share your views in the comment section below. To that end, thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss out on the latest space news.